I truly believe that Luther has the qualifications and has the qualities that will serve our people well and serve this state well. Alabama's attorney, Luther, Luther Strange, the former attorney general, is now a United States senator. Earlier this afternoon, he was sworn in at the U.S. Capitol in Washington to fill the seat left vacant by Jeff Sessions. Here in Alabama, some are asking if that appointment could be problematic for the new senator. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey is in Montgomery with that story. The governor's appointment came as no surprise, but some are saying it gives the appearance of collusion. We spoke with political analyst Steve Flowers today, who said it certainly looks like a deal was made between the governor and Luther Strange. Now, he did say he thinks Strange is certainly qualified to take over for Sessions, and he believes Strange will be a carbon copy of Sessions in the Senate, remaining very conservative and towing the party line. But he said Strange's involvement with the governor taints that appointment. And it all goes back to the impeachment probes by the House Judiciary Committee. Last November, the Attorney General's office, led by Luther Strange, asked the House to hold off on their investigation, and they haven't been given the go-ahead to resume. Flowers said there's already talk in Washington about it. It appears and looks like collusion. It looks like brazen collusion. It almost looks audacious. It's really, it's, it's really a surprising move, a bold move by both of them. And they think that the taint will not continue, but the fire will start burning pretty quickly. Now, the House Judiciary Committee released a statement when it postponed the investigation, indicating that the Attorney General's office was conducting its own investigation. But Strange said later and repeated today that was never the case. Coming up at 6, I'll have much more from Flowers and the House Judiciary Committee Chairman Mike Jones. In Montgomery, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News.